Hello and welcome to Physics, 11th grade, Physics 1. This is your syllabus and I will highlight some of the things that are on your syllabus. The first thing is I talk a little bit about the course and it says about the course. And then I list the units. There are 12 units, and the corresponding chapters are listed there. Now, as with the chemistry program, I will have a memory stick with your textbook and ancillary materials on it, and you can pass that around and download it onto your computers. However, you have to bring your computers with you in order for that to happen. The first unit is a two-part unit. It's vectors, vector analysis, and mechanical equilibrium. And then unit two is linear motion, and then unit three is projectile motion, and then we go to Newton's laws. I call it ramp physics, momentum, simple machines, fluid dynamics, thermodynamics, waves and sound, light and color, and then nuclear physics. By and large over the years, my students have found physics to be quite a bit easier than chemistry. Physics is a study of the physical world. It's not hidden. It's actually very visible, very obvious. The study of chemistry is the study of the unseen world, the study of the electron, the study of, of atoms, the study of the interaction between electrons of one substance with the electrons of another substance. But physics is quite a bit different. Let me give you some topics. Throwing a ball, sitting in a chair, walking across the room, riding a bike, being in a car, movement, forces, motion. These are the things that we will study. Light, sound, color, heat, water, pressure. These are the things that we will study this year. And once you get past a little bit of the sticky mathematics, you'll find it A, satisfying, and B, a little easier than chemistry. And welcome to Physics, 11th grade, Physics 1. Let's continue. At the top of the next page, you'll see a table. And in that table are some documents that you can click on. Click the word here. And that will take you to Google Drive, where you can find things like your Google Classroom assignments, the assignment folder, which has the source of all the links for your Google Classroom, and I'll go over that in a moment. The YouTube video playlist that will go right to YouTube. The uh, instructional hours guide uh, per topic that's similar to last year. I'll go over that in a moment as well. All of your, if you don't want to download anything and you want to simply keep things online, this will send you to all of your ancillaries and your textbook for the course. Next, you have your equation sheet. No, you don't have to memorize equations for tests or quizzes or anything else. Khan Academy Physics, a great YouTube site for reviewing some of the more rigorous concepts. Your assessments will go over more specifically in class. The outlines are going to be very important. Start those early. Remember, any classwork that is done early and presented to me for grading will receive a little extra credit. And also remember, the concept of studying is very important. If you get a 90% or better on your test, I will give you full marks for all of your homeworks. And the last page of your syllabus, you have the major part, looks at the test dates. So you can see 
Unit 1 is in two parts, as I said before, and it's going to be vector analysis, and you're going to have two tests on that, not long tests, but significant ones. August 27th is the first test, and then September 8th is the second test, and then Chapter 2, which is on mechanical equilibrium, which is essentially an application of vector analysis, and that will be on the 21st of September. These are hard dates. The only thing that will change these dates is if the pandemic uh, hits us hard and we have to make adjustments. I will make adjustments, and that's not a problem. But these are fairly hard dates. So you have the uh, you have each topic, each unit, the chapters corresponding to it, and then the dates of each test. And then this is the first page of your Google Classroom assignment for Unit 1. This should be familiar to you. I start off with the big idea and then essential questions, the standards that I will assess for this topic. Up top, I have the, the title of the unit, the, the date all the work is due, and then the date of the tests are there as well. And that is for Unit 1. I'm only going to review Unit 1 for purposes of this video. Page 2, again, it should be familiar to you. It's going to list the basic assignments, where you find the assignments. That's on page 2. And here is a continuation where I'm continuing to list the assignments. You can see the links to all of the various playlists on YouTube. And then the next page, I have the actual links to the assignment folder where I house all of the assignments. And then if there is a pandemic and we have to do online instruction, then you would hand in your assignments by taking a scan of the document. We'll practice that in class. I have to be able to read what you send me. That's pretty important uh, in order for me to give you credits for what you're handing in. So we'll practice that. We'll work on how to take better pictures of your assignments. And then I have some additional notes in some of the boxes that refers to some of the assignments. And then this is a list of what you have to have finished for me for the class assignment grade for the units. This shows you the science test dates for grades 9 through 12. And you can see yours is physics. And you have each unit is listed. And the days of the week as well. And most of the tests are on Fridays with some Tuesdays and Wednesdays depending upon the schedule. Again, this is, these are pretty hard dates, but they can be flexible depending upon events that may occur. So stay tuned to this. And uh, this is also part of your instructional hours document. I have all four classes in the same document. You would hit the appropriate tab and this is the last tab on the document to the right. You'll find this calendar. And here is the physics hours per topic calendar. You can see the months, the, the week of the year. You can see the dates are in blue and yellow. The corresponding hours are below that. Then you have the topic. So vectors would be 12 hours. Mechanical equilibrium would be 9 hours. But vectors and mechanical equilibrium, it's all one thing. And we're going to be going in and out of mechanical equilibrium and vectors as need be. However, the tests, there are going to be two tests for vectors and one test for mechanical equilibrium. Those test dates are in the comment section.
And then also if I have days off uh, listed, they're there. We can see that the 22nd and 23rd students will not be in school for those two days. So I didn't include those days in the hours counts. And these are the equations for physics. This is the first half of the year, first page. And then the second half of the year is here. And that's all you need. And you'll get these copies for each test. I'll give out the equation sheets. This is for ramp physics, for instance. I give that drawing. And this is for thermodynamics. Those are some constants that you'll need to perform the appropriate operation on the data given for a thermodynamics problem. And that's it. Good luck this year. Well, good luck this year. I missed everyone. Very excited to get started. I hope you had a great summer. You're coming back well rested and uh, we'll have a great year. Take care and have a good day.